What's up everyone? This is Pao and this is iPilm. What's up everyone? Welcome back again to my vlog. For today's vlog, we're gonna talk about film camera. But in this vlog, I'm gonna talk about the my favorite film camera of all because I've tried I think four film cameras but this is my favorite one for now so I think I did two videos in this film camera and this is the Harman reusable camera as you can see I've already peeled the stickers because I don't know I don't like the stickers but anyway um, let's get straight into it so this camera is 40 euro if you convert that into pesos I think that is less than 2,500 let's just try and calculate that do I have a calculator I don't think I have a calculator but let's see because I think in the Philippines I saw it um, 1,700 something or less than 2,000 pesos so there you go um, for the amount of money you're gonna get the camera and two black and white um, film camera so is this thing worth your money when you are just starting into film photography so basically if you want to invest into a camera that you will use over and over again I think it is worth your money why because um, film photography is going back into the trend right now and I think the value of of the plastic film cameras are going up so if I were you buy them now while it's not yet on the top but anyway I think it is worth it one less than 2,000 pesos you'll get a camera and then two film that's fine with me um, but there's a but here in Ireland this is 40 euro 40 euro is already big and I've got um, um, SLR film camera for 30 euro and the film the film is basically 10 euro so that's 40 euro for one camera one really good camera and one film I'm gonna show you the um, the 30 euro film camera that I bought it's oopsie it's actually this one so here you go this is 30 euro um, and I bought it in a um, in a secondhand vintage shop so there you go I think in the Philippines you can buy also cheap um, cheap SLR film cameras or automatic film cameras like like this one this is a bit exp on the expensive side when I bought it I think this is um, for same 40 euro just for the camera no films anything just this one this is automatic so um, you can buy good cameras for the 40 euro instead of buying the plastic one but if you are in the Philippines I think the plastic one you can buy it for less than 2,000 pesos it comes with two film actually films in the Philippines right now is range from 300 pesos to above because some good grade films are really expensive but there you go um, I'm not gonna talk about the quality of the photos that comes that you can take from this camera because I have two other videos of this camera and I have photos from it so just watch it I'm gonna link down below so there you go so yes it is worth it of your money if you buy it in the Philippines but it's not worth your money if you buy it in abroad because um, the conversion you know and the value of the money so there you go um, this camera is very straightforward you can't change any settings so it's just like shoot and and point and shoot there you go this is a point and shoot plastic camera so I just like um, wind it and then shoot then wind it then shoot and then when you're finished this is not automatic so you have to rewind the film on your own so as you can see there's a rewinder here so you have to you have to click 
the button here when you click this button that means you're ready to rewind there you go it's all manual it's not it's not like the other camera which is automatic when you put the film it it winds on its own and then just click it if you finish a roll and then it's gonna be rewind on its own so there you go the harm why do i like the harman reusable camera um without thinking about the price because it's straightforward and it shoots really good quality photos for me for my experience like i said if you want to see some of the photos go back to my other two videos because i'm not gonna put it here we're gonna be all um facts experience and things about the camera so in this video so there you go um i really like this camera it's lightweight um and if you break this thing you can buy another one because it's cheap but whether you are in the philippines or abroad um it's still pricey a little bit pricey but if you break it it's not really gonna it's not really gonna you're not really gonna cry because you know you can afford another one like if you break a 1000 1000 euro camera or like let's say 60000 pesos camera i mean that's another story <laughs> but anyway this camera is really really good there's no settings so it's good for um film photography beginners like me i actually started with disposable camera which is good as well but disposable camera is on the pricey side as well i think disposable camera is 10 euro and then um this one is 40 so disposable camera it comes with a film and then a camera but you can't use the camera again because when you take the, f the film out you're gonna ruin the camera so you have to um you have to bring it to a professional to take out your film and then it's um it's not reusable it's not like this one the disposable camera the body is not for re reusing it again but i saw some people who have some tricks into how to reuse um a disposable camera but that's a lot of effort if i were you if you want to do disposable cameras if you want to start there that's fine i think it's on the che cheaper side um it's it's actually cheap i think the disposable camera in the philippines i think it's range from 500 to 800 pesos if it comes with a film i'm not too sure of how much are the developing but um you have to take count of the of the value of the developing as well so let's say this for this um 2000 pesos camera with two with two films let's say if you want to develop two films I'm not really sure how much is it but like here in Ireland for a black and white film it's really really expensive it's 16 euro and and that's for 36 exposure 16 euro is about nearly um, I think that's nearly 800 pesos for developing a black and white but for for a colored one it's on the cheaper side um it's 600 pesos so that's it so it depends really on where you want to develop your films so um before going into film photography make sure you have allocated budget on the film the developing and invest on a reusable camera instead of a disposable one because film photography is a very expensive hobby so there you go i'm gonna say that to you i think i've spent i've spent a lot more money in in the film in the film cameras i have three film cameras right now and i have a bunch i think i have nine film stocks in here because i don't want to keep buying and then buying again if i'm finished i just want to like stock films and then when i'm ready to shoot i just have my own films there you go the developing side is the very hardest one because right now with this lockdown i can't really i can't really develop my film because i had to send it away so there you go i have three films ready to go for developing but i can't because of the lockdown so there's actually so much money involved in film photography and there's so much effort effort involved in film photography if you decided to develop your own 
film that's a different story i want to try it but i don't have enough space to make my own dark room but soon maybe soon a few months or maybe a year maybe i could do that but we'll see how it goes but anyway harman reusable camera it is good quality um plastic um reusable camera so for me i think it's good and this is my main film camera right now because i've tried it i've tried all the films that i want and um, my next video with this camera will be i'll be pushing the iso down like let's say i've already tried um using iso 200 and 400 on this one i might i might try using iso 100 and iso 800 so i'll be pushing and pulling the the iso in this camera even though you can't set it because i know this camera is only for uh, it's really good for iso 400 but um it's 50 50 for iso 200 i'm not too sure for 100 and 800 but i think it's gonna be worthwhile and really interesting to know if those film grades will work on this camera so wait for that video because i'm really excited i i the only thing i need to do now is fill um buy um a film with iso 800 because i already have a iso 125 film in here with me but anyway so we um i'm not gonna prolong this video um go go buy harman reusable camera or maybe you can um you can buy the kodak reusable camera i forgot what's the name but it's kodak they they have um something like this it's actually the same it's actually um the same specs as well if you want to know the specs go back to my other video because i did say that in there i'm not gonna repeat it again but anyway it is worth it it was worth my money i kept i kept using it all the time with different films and it's very lightweight you can bring it everywhere you have no problem if you drop it it's plastic maybe it won't break i haven't dropped it i wouldn't try dropping it anyway but there you go guys that's the harmon reusable camera so buy it if you want it and you can buy another thing if you don't want it so that's the end of our video before i go i would like you um i would like you to if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button down there and the bell button so you're always updated with my new videos and also go to my um facebook twitter and instagram so we can communicate together you can have requests whatever or we can be friends you know so there you go guys that's it for today and i'll see you on the next one bye bye